Hi, welcome to Urban Forest Metrics. You've probably gotten an email from the company indicating the place to go download the manual and the initial version of the file that you'll use to poke around and figure out what you need, customized, changed, value lists, added, things like that. But for folks who aren't used to using iPads and iPhones, it is a, it's a lot to take in at first. So we put together this very quick start quick quick start guide and here's an email that will be sent to a client and it says that the first thing you want to do is download the app the underlying database called FileMaker Go on your device so assuming you've opened up your device if you don't already have one and you've set it up and gone through the normal process of turning it on charging it and putting in your email address and all that stuff what you'll do is you'll go to the App Store. It'll be one of the main icons on the screen here. I have it here. And once you're in the App Store, it'll look something like this. You'll press on the search button and just type in a FileMaker. And that will bring you to the FileMaker Go app. There it is, FileMaker Go 16. And you can go ahead and click on the Get button. I'm not going to click on it because I've already downloaded that app. And once you've downloaded it, it'll look like this. It'll have a little icon, and when you touch it, it'll open up. That's great. So I'm going to put that away for now. So I have the FileMaker Go app here. And you will see there are a couple links we'll send in the email. One is the manual, and that's easy enough. You can just click on that, and it will download. It's a Dropbox link, usually. And it will download a file, and you can see the manual and that has a lot of this information in it but uh, lots of other stuff and then there's the file and if I click on that it will go to a Dropbox thing and, and say do I want to download you will want to say yes download direct download and now it's going to pull that file down so now what I've done here on my computer is I've downloaded that first generic file onto my computer which is great because I actually might want to open that up on my computer and I can do so if I download the FileMaker Pro app from the FileMaker site that runs on the computer. But what we want to do is we want to get this up and going on the, on the iPhone I happen to have here. So on the device, the device version of this is we would open up our email on the iPad or iPhone and go to the same email and then we would click on the link. And it'll do one of two things, depending on whether or not you have previously loaded the Dropbox app onto your device. If you haven't downloaded your Dropbox app onto the device, then it'll look just like this. It'll open up your browser and you can click on the download button and it will download it. And once it finishes downloading, it'll ask you, hey, what app do you want to open this up in? And you can select FileMaker Go and you're off to the races. If you have the Dropbox app already on that device, it does something that can confuse people. It will open up the, the file in Dropbox. It's not actually downloaded it yet. Um, so it says no preview available. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this three dot icon on the upper right and click on the make available offline option. Now what that does is it actually downloads the file from the Dropbox server onto the device. And after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and select Export. So we're taking that document and we're moving it to another app. And when I do that, you'll see that one of the options is Open In. So I'm going to select that and it's going to give me a list of apps that I can open up that document in, one of which is FileMaker Go. So I open up FileMaker Go and there I am. So that's how to get the document up and going on, on an iPad or iPhone. And we have other videos to show you how to do the transfer of documents from computer to, to your device. Um, but if you have any questions, it's often, it often takes someone 15 minutes or 45 minutes to get past some misunderstanding. And it takes 30 seconds for us to tell you on the phone. So always feel free to give us, give us a call or you can visit our website at forestmetrics.com 
and metrics is spelled m-e-t-r-i-x forestmetrics.com thank you very much